Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest and our tricep muscles. We are going to start the usual, the greatest stretch, five repetitions on each side. You may prefer to do any other dynamic stretching as per your preference post completing even five minutes of cardio. That's absolutely fine. So as of now, we have completed four weeks of this particular routine where when we were working out our chest and triceps, shoulder and biceps back and our leg muscles and it has been going great so what i have done is i have selected few exercises which i like the most in this last four weeks and now started accumulating them as per my preference which i think create the most amount of connection for me and i start doing those exercises so you may choose to do the same in the last four weeks of exercises you may choose that this particular exercise suits me the best and you can choose to do that particular exercise again and again to improve your muscle strength and put your muscle into hypertrophy now next thing we are going to do is the deep squat wherein we are going to push our glutes as far behind as possible feel the stretch in our hamstrings and then slowly sit down into the deep squat stay there for a few seconds at least now you can do this particular deep squat throughout the day anytime you can sit even for minutes in this particular position to improve your hip mobility and also create that static stretching effect post completing my dynamic stretching part i moved on to my first exercise which is a flat bench press wherein i have done three sets of these 15 repetitions first then six then six for the first 15 repetitions i have chosen a challenging enough weight wherein i'll fail at the 15th rep and for the next few repetitions i have taken heavier weight as much as possible to achieve those six repetitions under extreme load now since the exercise is quite demanding you might take at least 45 to 60 seconds break in between the only cue you have to remember is to keep your chest up make sure you don't bend your elbows once you're down so that your tricep doesn't get involved much and also keep your elbows tucked in don't flare them out don't get them beside your shoulder as you can see in the video how i'm doing it how my elbows stay as upright as possible even at the lower position and the elbows are a little bit closer to the body they are not flared out or beside the shoulder muscles this way you would be able to achieve the perfect uh, adduction to your chest post completing my flat bench press i moved on to the incline bench press now for the incline bench press you have to simply use one increment increase in the incline of the bench that's it the least amount of the least amount possible at your uh, gym the bench which you have that's more than sufficient to get the incline bench effect here again i have done the 15 repetitions then 6 6 repetitions of heavy weights make sure you follow the same principle keeping your elbows closer to your body not flaring them out and at the same time at the lower position not bending the elbows completely avoiding the tricep activation as much as possible for my next exercise i chose to do the dips wherein i have done three sets of these 10 repetitions with a 45 seconds break in between if you are not able to perform dips you can also do regular push-ups if you have an assisted machine of dips please use that to perform this particular one post completing those i moved on to cable crossovers i have done two sets of these using the 15 repetitions plus pause repetitions accumulating almost 35 repetitions in each set now for the first set i have placed the cable high and pulled them low and for the second set i placed the cable at my shoulder level and started doing a hugging motion in front of me now the difference might not be so severe but i just wanted to ensure that i am able to work all the muscle fibers equally you might not feel the difference much but i would recommend trying this out because in in this manner we are not fatiguing one side of the pec muscle the most the upper side or the lower side whichever you prefer to do so now the break in between should be at least 60 seconds because this is a 15 plus another 15 to 20 repetition set so make sure you take sufficient amount of break and also the weight should be challenging make sure the weight is challenging enough it shouldn't be so heavy that you're not able to complete the number of repetitions at the same time shouldn't be so light that you you have another 20, 10, 10 to 20 repetitions left in your gas post completing this particular exercise i moved on to my tricep work now 
for in the tricep work the first exercise which we are going to do is the incline bench tricep extension basically you set the bench up at an incline maybe at 45 to 60 degrees and then take a barbell push it behind your head and start doing the tricep extensions now i have done a set wherein i included failure repetitions also so once i failed in this particular position i brought it down to a regular skull crusher tried to do it as many repetitions as possible and once i failed there i started doing it taking it behind my head and got as many repetitions as possible as you will be able to see right now once i'm done there i moved into the skull crushers wherein my tricep is a little bit more relaxed it doesn't have to be at a stretched position always and once i'm done with the regular skull crushers i've taken it behind my head to get a little bit more depth while you know giving it a little bit more time to recover and that manner i have done two sets of these post completing these i moved on to a superset of tri uh, tricep cable extensions and push downs now you start off with the cable extensions you do 20 repetitions and then you start down immediately switch to a push down again you achieve 20 repetitions once again it's a high volume exercise so you need to take at least 60 seconds break in between so make sure you give enough amount of time for your muscle to recover so that you are able to do the effective reps with enough amount of weight on the cable otherwise you will start hitting failure way sooner or you would choose a very less amount of weight and not feel so much amount of work being done for uh, tricep cable extension it's a very easy exercise you just put up the cable at the mid level and start trying to pull the cable as high as possible and for tricep push downs immediately push the cable as high as possible the setup and then start pushing down now when you're pushing down make sure your elbows stay tucked in beside your body and you're trying to get your arms at all times to, into complete extension your elbow should extend completely turn your wrist a little bit to get that little bit more activation in your tricep muscle and you don't need not let the wrist go absolutely up just stop at 90 degrees and then push down immediately with all the force possible slow down the eccentric motion wherein you're letting the cable go back up post completing those i moved on to lying down tricep dumbbell extensions now here i've done three sets each hand as many repetitions as possible with an internally rotated posture as you can see how i place my arm how the dumbbell is landing on my chest instead otherwise it would be landing on my shoulder in a regular dumbbell extension lying down so here is the side angle here you can see how i position my hand it might take a couple of tries for you to figure out but you just have to rotate your um, completely uh, rotate your shoulder internally and then start doing the extensions putting your tricep at a stretch and then trying to extend it making it do more amount of work now keep switching in between the arms try to get as many repetitions as possible for each arm if you're unable to do just give it a little bit of support to achieve equal number of repetitions like i did wherein when my left arm started getting tired i used my right arm to push it a little bit more to get those last few repetitions or oh, maybe three to four of them which i was not able to get as you can see now not a lot of push but just a little bit of support to get those last few repetitions and that's it with our exercising part of our chest and triceps now we move on to doing a little bit of core work wherein we do hanging leg races three sets 10 repetitions with the bar behind our back to make sure our repetitions are absolutely strict and we don't swing around much if you're still struggling with core stability i prefer doing this way so that we get effective and clean repetitions out every time and that's it for today's exercises after this we move on to our static stretching part wherein we lie down on a bench with a flat pipe and just push it behind our head getting those abduction going on stretching out our chest and our tricep muscles holding there for a few seconds thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe if you have any kind of feedback please do drop a comment and let me know if you need me to add any exercise or show you any kind of exercise which you prefer to do so again thank you so much for joining me i'll be putting out the next video soon i'll see you in the next video meanwhile you have a good day and a great workout